The SL20 made by the company Fork is a 2000 lumen underwater video light. What it can do and what it is good for, that's what we're going to look at in today's review video. Coming up. Hey there underwater filmmakers, what's going on? It's great to see you back here on the channel for today's review video. The SL20 is a 2000 lumen underwater video light made by the company Divefog and I was lucky enough to have had a chance to test it out on my recent trip to the Maldives. Now I need to say that I didn't buy the SL20 with my own money. Divefog sent me this underwater video light a while ago, so I was able to uh, test it and make this review about it. They are not paying me for this review and they don't have anything to say in terms of what I'm saying and uh, telling you guys about this underwater video light. Let's have a look at the structure of today's video. Today's video will consist of three different parts. First of all, we'll look at the different features that the SL20 has. Secondly, we'll look at the pros and the cons of this specific underwater video light. And last but not least, number three, we will talk about or I will share to, with you my personal thoughts on what I think or who I think this um, underwater video light is made for and in which situations it really shines and maybe also in which situations you shouldn't use this specific light. So let's not waste any more time and dive right into the first section and have a look at the features. Divefox SL20 is a really feature rich, small, compact and lightweight underwater video light. It has a 2000 lumen maximum output power which, to be quite honest, isn't huge and there's definitely underwater video lights that perform much better in that field but it is sufficient for a lot of different scenarios. Which ones these are? That's something that we'll look at a little later in today's review. Now, the way this light is operated is by a one button um, mechanism. So you can just keep the button pushed down for a while and that will turn the light on. And then by just pushing onto the button once, um, you will cycle through the different modes. Pressing onto it once will get to the 2000 lumen maximum um, output mode. Pressing onto it once more will get to the 50%, so 1000 lumen um, low output mode. And again, with another press, we'll get into um, a red light mode, which can be quite useful if you're an underwater photographer and you want to use this specific light um, as a focus light on your rig so you can get closer to your animals without scaring them off before you fire off your strokes. As an underwater filmmaker, I don't really see too much benefit in having a red light function on an underwater video light though. The SL20 gets powered by a battery pack or basically a single battery uh, that is replaceable and rechargeable as well. You can see that it makes up most of the uh, underwater video light itself. Uh, the good thing about a replaceable rechargeable battery is that you don't need to wait for the battery to charge in between dives. If you've depleted the battery, if you have a spare one, you can just uh, swap it out in between dives and continue uh, filming and uh, using that light uh, underwater again. Now talking about the battery life, this, uh, this battery will supply your underwater video light, the SL20, with 150 minutes of power on the highest output level, so on 2000 lumen, which is quite okay in my opinion. Now, if you're doing two dives a day, you'll, this is gonna be easily enough for you to take you through all the, the dives of the day. Even if you're doing three dives a day on like a longer day trip, 
you can still manage to go through or get through all the three dives with just that one battery charge uh, and without having to recharge in between or change batteries in between by just using the light a little bit more conservative. Now the way how you can tell how much battery you've got left on your torch, on your underwater video light, is by simply looking at the LEDs that are located around the um, operational button. Now you've got different colors there. If the color um, is green, that means that the um, that the underwater video light has more than 70% of battery capacity left. If it's orange, it means the battery capacity is somewhere between 70 and 30%. And if it turns red, it means you've only got or you've got less than 30% of battery capacity left. And it would be a good idea to recharge the battery at the next possible um, opportunity. The SL20 really is a pretty small and compact underwater uh, video light. It has a diameter of 42 millimeters and a length of 131 millimeters. It weights in the water with the battery um, inside the underwater video light. It weights 169 grams. That's the negative lift that it has and that it's going to make your um, your complete underwater camera system uh, a little heavier but I think 169 grams is not too bad and I don't really think that you will uh, necessarily need to compensate for that extra added weight onto your underwater camera rig. Let's talk about the light quality next. The SL20 has a color temperature of 5600 Kelvin, which equals pretty much daylight temperature. The color rendering index is 83. The color rendering index tells you how close the light that gets emitted by the underwater video light matches natural sunlight. Natural sunlight having a CRI reading of 100. So the closer that number gets to 100, the better. Now 83 isn't really a great reading on the CRI rating. Uh, there's definitely other underwater video lights out there that get well beyond the 90, uh, the 90 mark reading, but it's not too bad either. It's definitely something you can work with, but you will probably find that it doesn't, that it doesn't match natural sunlight very, very well. The main material that was used in producing the SL20 is aircraft grade aluminum and it is um, waterproof down to a depth of 100 meters. It comes with a double o-ring feature for added security and prevention of incidental flooding of your underwater video light. At a price of 130 US dollars for this underwater video light, I think that it is a pretty good deal. And also, before I forget, I want to mention the beam angle of the SL20, which is 100 degrees. Right, so let's move on to the pros and the cons of the Dive Fork SL20 underwater video light. Let's focus on the pros first before we get into the cons section. Now on the pro side, we definitely need to say that it is a very small, compact and lightweight underwater video light. Perfect for small underwater video setups like action cams, uh, compact cameras or smartphone cameras that you're using to film and take photos underwater. Another pro is definitely that it is made out of high quality materials and it really feels very solid and like it can take quite a bit of a beating um, once on a dive boat or in a dive center environment. These things just happen and this underwater video light really looks like it is made for these situations and it can withstand quite a bit of misuse. Another thing that I want to put onto the pro side of the SL20 is the red light mode that it comes with. And I know I said before that I don't really see much of a benefit as an underwater videographer, but if you are an underwater photographer or someone who does take photos and videos underwater, it could come in quite handy to have that red light functionality integrated. 
Last but not least, I want to mention the price. As I said earlier, 130 US dollars is a really good price for a high quality, easy to work and reliable underwater video light. One last thing I nearly forgot that definitely needs to go onto the pro side is the packaging and what is all included when you buy the SL20. You get a really nice little pouch that carries your um, underwater video light and if you open that pouch inside there is plenty of space. You'll get a little lanyard so you can attach it uh, to you, you don't lose it. You have the box for the um, battery, you have a little charger for the battery there and it also comes with a little silicon uh, grease uh, to help you keep your o-rings in good shape and obviously a little um, manual that is integrated in the packaging and the pouch there as well. So if we look now at the con side of the SL underwater video light by Dyfork. There's only three things that I would place on there. First of all, the 2000 lumen maximum output power. I do actually think that it is not quite sufficient um, for certain situations. In certain situations, you're definitely gonna be okay with it. For example, if you're focusing on uh, close-up shots, macro shots, uh, you're gonna get enough light with that uh, 2000 lumen. Also, if you're primarily um, or oftentimes filming at night time, it's also gonna be enough. But imagine you're trying to, you know, light up a larger wide angle scene, the 2000 lumen are just not gonna be um, strong enough. Even if you use two of these lights and have 4000 lumen, lumen available, it's probably still not going to be enough for a wide angle scene. So anything other than wide angle, the light is gonna be fine with the 2000 lumen, but it does restrict you a little bit, and that's why the output power gets put on the con side here. Another negative, in my opinion, is the rather narrow beam angle of the light. 100 degrees is not very wide, and uh, again, if you're filming and uh, shooting um, macro objects, you close your objects, it's gonna be fine. You're gonna be okay with the 100 degrees uh, as a beam angle, but as soon as you wanna capture something a little wider, it's just not gonna, it's just not gonna do it with 100 degrees. You'll probably need more something like 120, 130 degrees, somewhere along those lines. And lastly, another negative that I want to mention here is that I think that the light output is rather a bit on the cold side. As we mentioned before, with a color rendering index of um, 83, the light coming out of here doesn't really resemble natural sunlight too well. And this specific model pushes the colors too much, in my opinion, too much to the cold side. Um, and uh, just gives you a little bit of a colder image that way. Nothing that you cannot correct in post-production, but in camera, your imagery is gonna look a little colder when you use that light. So who is the Dyfork SL20 underwater video light made for? Well, I would say if uh, you are someone who dives and films with a compact setup, an action cam, a compact system, a compact camera, or a smartphone in a smartphone housing, then I think this underwater video light is really ideal for you. Also, if you're someone who primarily films, you know, closer objects, objects that aren't much further away than maybe half a meter, or if you're even just doing macro work, then this light is gonna be absolutely sufficient and for the price, a great companion. If on the other hand, you're more into the wide angle stuff, you wanna, let's say, uh, film a, a wreck structure underwater or a large uh, wide coral reef, it's gonna be really difficult to light that up with the SL20 just by itself because it's just not powerful enough and it doesn't have a um, beam that is wide enough for that. I personally will definitely keep the SL20 um, within my arsenal of underwater video lights, but I'm probably not gonna be using it primarily as an underwater video light because what I was thinking that I'm just gonna be taking off the uh, ball mount 
and then I have transformed this into a very nice compact lightweight um, and uh, versatile underwater flashlight that I can just put inside my BCD pocket, have it with me at all times, have it as a backup light if anything happens during the dive and my big underwater video lights fail or also uh, as a as a additional light that I can use to light up um, areas where I can't reach with my big underwater video lights. So that's the use that this little fella is gonna have with me in the future. So there you have it, a quick overview of the Difog SL20 underwater video light. Hopefully this review was useful to you and I was able to show you uh, what this dive uh, underwater video light can do and in what situations it is particularly useful. If that was the case, please do not forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel so you're not missing out on any future reviews and other content that will be uploaded here regularly. Now if you think that the SL20 is a good underwater video light choice for you, make sure to use the link down in the video description below which will get you onto the Dive Fork website and will automatically deduct a 6% discount on the regular price of the underwater video light thanks to my friends at Dive Fork. The 6% also apply to any other products that you can find on the Dive Fork um, website. So if you're looking for the best underwater smartphone housing, if you're looking for uh, tripods, if you're looking for underwater video lights, if you're looking for trays, anything like that you can find on the Dive Fork website and anything you want to get, you'll get the 6% discount um, applied straight at the checkout uh, by using the general link which is down in the video description as well. So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for your time and for watching. In next week's video we will be looking at how to match two shots so that they look the same and that you can't really tell that they have been taken at different dive sites in different conditions and maybe at different uh, day types. If this is something that interests you, make sure to tune in again next Tuesday here on the channel. Until then, have a great week, enjoy capturing your awesome underwater adventures and I will see you in the next video.